up guys, it's a girl wrote and welcome back to another Uncensored Eats cooking video tutorial. Today I am making fried lobster BLT. But before we get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend and hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. Let me introduce to you guys what I have here in front of me. So I have two live lobsters right here. I have red wine vinegar, some tomatoes, garlic powder and onion powder. Obey and Creole seasoning, diced ginger, diced garlic, diced onions. I have some basil and oregano right here, chopped parsley. I have some chives and I also have some red pepper flakes. This is the bacon I will be using for this dish today. And these are the buns that I will be using for my sandwich. So let's get to cooking. Before I start deep frying the lobster for the dish, I want to start off by making or tomato jam. So let's get started on that and we'll work our way into everything else. You want a pot of boiled salted water. Next, you're going to score your tomatoes by making an X, like so. Put it into the water. And you're going to let these come to a boil for 30 seconds. It's been 30 seconds and I'm going to take my tomatoes out. You want to score and blanch your tomatoes because this is the easiest way to take the skin off the tomatoes. We're going to put these in an ice cold bath and we'll be right back. Now that our tomatoes are done, they're all cool, we're going to start peeling them. Next is to core the tomatoes. You can use a paring knife for this process. Cut it in half. You can de-seed your tomatoes, but I like to keep the seeds into my tomato jam. And we're just going to slice these down. and then dice. Now it's time to start making our tomato jam. You're going to need a small onion, a tablespoon of diced garlic, and a teaspoon of diced ginger. You're also going to need one tablespoon of blended canola or extra virgin olive oil. And we're going to saute or onions, garlic, and ginger until they are translucent. Next, we're going to add our diced tomatoes. To mix that in. Three tablespoons of palm sugar, a dash of red wine vinegar, a pinch of salt, a pinch of black pepper, and some red chili flakes. We're going to mix this in. Let this come to a boil, and then we'll turn it down to simmer for 30 minutes. In the meantime, while we wait, let's get started on making our chive aioli. So we're gonna add one and a half heaping tablespoons of mayo. I'm using soy-free Veganese mayo, you can use whatever mayo you like. You don't have to use the mayo brand I have here. So I'm just gonna add all my chives into the bowl. A pinch of salt, a pinch of black pepper, grated garlic, some lemon zest, Freshly squeezed lemon juice and a little bit of sriracha. And we're going to mix this in. We're going to put this in the refrigerator until we are ready to start plating up. All right, guys, let's take a look at our tomato jam. So you want your jam to have very little juice in it. So when you put it on your burger or on your sandwich, it's not too runny. 
or too juicy. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of chopped parsley, some basil and oregano. We're going to pour a tomato jam in a bowl and refrigerate it until it's cool, until we are ready to use it. In the meantime, we're just going to start plating up our bacon and cooking those off and getting ready to start frying our lobster. Start cooking our bacon. And we're going to cook this until these are nice and crispy. Now let's move into our lobster. So here are the things you are going to need. I deshelled my lobster. I wanted to do that off camera because it was pretty um, crucial and I didn't want to record it. In this bowl, I have some panko, I have some fish fry mix, and I also have some flour. I got an egg in here. I have onion and garlic powder in this little bowl right here. And I also have obey and creole seasoning. So I'm going to mix my seasonings together. And I'm going to put a little over my lobster. And I'm going to put a little into my mix right here. The same for the garlic and onion. Add a little in here and also a little in here and the little black pepper. I'm going to mix my lobster tails. And we're going to mix this up. Dredge my lobster tails into my flour mix. They get fully coated into my egg wash. And back into my flour. So you're going to do this until all your lobster pieces are fully coated. And this is what our breaded lobster looks like. We're going to head over to the stove side and we're going to start frying these babies. Now it's time to start frying. You don't want your oil too hot. Because if it is, your breading will burn and your lobster meat won't cook. And we are frying raw lobster meat. We are going to fry our lobster meat until it is golden brown. Look at our bacon. They are good and ready to go. Let's take a look at our lobster to see how far they are. And these are looking really, really good already. Turn these over. This is our fried lobster meat. The color looks really good. This is what you're looking for. And we're just going to start taking our lobster meat out of the oil and you're going to land your lobster meat onto a tray or a plate that is lined with paper towel. You don't want to overcook your lobster because if you do it will become rubbery and you don't want that. So our lobster meat looks really good. There you have it guys, our fried lobster meat with our crispy bacon. We're just frying up some crinkle cut fries to go with our sandwich. After the fries are all fried to a golden crisp, I am going to add some Obey and Creole seasoning with garlic powder, and onion powder, a little bit of salt, and a hint of black pepper. Toss that in there to complete this dish. Some garlic and onion powder. And a little bit of Creole and Obey seasoning. Okay. 
pans are good to go. I reserved some of my baking grease to toast my brioche in. Let's take a look at our buns. They're starting to look really good. It needs a bit more time. Let's take another look. Our buns are toasted really well and they are ready to go. Now it's time for the magic. Let's start cleaning up our fried lobster BLT. All right, I'm going to start with my lettuce on the bottom of my brioche bun. Next, my lobster meat. I'm going to add some of my chive mayo onto my bun. My tomato jam. And last but not least, my bacon. And we are going to cover these. So there you have it guys, my lobster BLT gourmet style. Fried lobster BLT. Woo woo.